Everybody, tonight we're starting our show with an incredible power couple, John and Christy Berry. John and Christy are real estate investors who are a powerful tag team couple investing in real estate together. They're anointed, they're powerful, and they're leaders, and they have an incredible story to share with you tonight. So without any further ado, let's go into the studios and start our show with my good friends, John and Christy Berry. John and Christy Berry, welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Thank you. John, we'll start with you. Mm -hmm. I'm so honored that you guys are in the studio today. Tell us a little bit about your background in real estate, what it is that you do, and how you help people. Sure. What we've been doing over the last 14 years is buying residential properties and really helping people that may be in a dire need to sell their house or just need a different option in order to get it moved quicker. And on the other side, we help people really get into homes that may not be the best qualified for a loan and also those that are. So we really try to have a product availability for those on, on both sides of the spectrum. Right, how did you get involved in real estate investing? Because you know, yeah. so many people watching this show right now, they're like, yes, you're doing what I want to do. Yes. So how did you guys make that switch into the real estate investing world? Sure, so I was in corporate America and I was working an IT job. And, and I knew for my lifetime goals for my family, I just couldn't stay in corporate America forever and get that, that goal, that achievement that I really had in my heart desired um, to go towards. So we made a decision to start part-time. We started doing a couple things in, in the real estate world, really started to pick up momentum and just, just made the leap about three and a half years ago and, and uh, haven't looked back. Right, now, Christy, you're uh, very much so involved in the business as well. Yes. I am. How does that work, husband and wife, uh, working <laughs> together? How does that work for you guys? Well, I can be honest, in the beginning, it wasn't, you know, a smooth road. <laughs> but after we finally sat down and said, okay, this is what your strong qualities are, here are yours, let's define our roles. And then since we've done that, we've really been able to take the business to another level. Right. Now, you guys have a family as well, right? Yes. Do you want to give a shout out to your kids, please? <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Ian. Hi, Alex. <laughs> All right. So let's get back to the real estate investing side of the business. I'm not going to ask you what your challenges are yeah. as far as a husband and wife team doing this because, yeah. you know, today you're celebrating a wedding anniversary today, right? Yes. 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 Well, congratulations on that. Thank but you. But here's what I want to do is... There's people at home that are wanting to enter into the space. What would you recommend for them? If they were getting started, they're where you were mm -hmm. when you first got started, what would you recommend for them to do? Like anything, if you've got a God-given dream, you really got to take hold of that. Whether that's just one step at a time or just both feet in, you have to really start going that direction. As long as you get 1% better every day, after 100 days, you're 100% better. And what I mean by that is a lot of people have this dream of doing real estate, but yet they don't take that first step of making a phone call or going out and visiting the people that need your help or putting out the advertisement that, that's gonna draw those people in. What would you say is a secret component of your success that you've had in real estate investing? I don't think it's a secret, especially for this network to know that it's God. I mean, I give everything and glory to Him. Every morning I start in His Word and I give him the time that's needed to fulfill me so I can use that power that God's given me out to the outer world. Right, and that's fantastic. Christy, yep. what would you say to the person that is thinking about getting started as a husband and wife team, let's say, what would you recommend to them that are looking to get started? I would say first, you know, if it is your God-given dream, I mean, go for it, you know, take those steps needed and grab your dream. Don't be scared to take that leap of faith. Right, right, right. John, let me ask you this. Take me into a story, if you would, 
of somebody that you helped out, you know, for the both of you, it really confirmed that you were in the right spot. Can you take us and give us an example of somebody got, that you helped? I've got so many. I can give you an example of somebody that we helped that was trying to sell a house. They had it on the open market with a real estate agent. For over a year, they could not sell that house. And it was a decent price, beautiful home, but he just couldn't get it sold. So we came in and we were able to offer him a solution that maybe the traditional realtor couldn't offer him. We got the other person into the property that wasn't quite qualified yet at the time. And we had the complete transaction done within, I believe, six months. And it made it a win for the seller, a win for the buyer, and win for us as well. Right, that is fantastic. You know, by the way, you're also best-selling authors as well. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Congratulations Thank on you. that huge accomplishment. But tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we've been blessed and able to be number one best-selling authors on Amazon and really got to get our story out there of where we've come from, what we're doing, what we're doing in the future. Yeah. Right, right. Well, let me ask you this. How sure. important is your family involved in the business? Are you in involving your children in mm -hmm. the business? Are you planning to involve them into <laughs> the business? Tell us a little bit about that. That's a great question. So. I would say my son has been into more houses than, <laughs> than most adults. Yeah. He can now go into a house and he'll start looking at the different walls, the ceilings, and, and know exactly what needs to be done to a house. He's 11 years old. He he's already knows how the real estate world is working. So right. our other son likes design. We have a mother-in-law that's involved in the business and, and a brother that's involved. And so, yes, it's been a wonderful experience to help bring other people along with us on the ride. Right. Well, John, what I'd like you to do is as we get ready to wrap up our mm -hmm. segment here, what I'd like you to do is look into the camera at, at home. There's people that are watching this show right now, mm -hmm. 200 nations. This show is broadcast into 93 million homes. And there are people right now that are at the defining moment of their life. And mm -hmm. they feel called to do real estate investing, and but they're just unsure of themselves. Speak into the camera if you don't mind and, and just deliver that message of encouragement yeah. for their God-given dream, the way you're living your God-given dream. Absolutely. And what, when you're saying a God-given dream, you may not have the confidence in yourself, but you don't need it. You, you let God be driven through you. It is God that's giving you that dream, and he's the one that's going to give you the power and the words to make it happen. John and Christy Berry, so honored to have you guys on set hope uh, that you'll come back and visit us again on the show thank you so much thank you it's my honor and privilege to bring to you tonight not just another guest but somebody that is near and dear not only to my heart but my wife's heart vicki bradley's heart mr jl farron is next up in the studio JL is the CEO of our company, God Made Millionaire. Not only is he the CEO, but he's also a very trusted friend of ours for over 15 years. He served our country honorably as a combat army veteran. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and extreme privilege to take you in to somebody that's very near and dear to my heart and my wife's heart, Mr. JL Farron. JL Farron? Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, TC. JL, I have such an appreciation for you. I've known you for 15 years, and you are a combat army veteran as well. So That's thank correct. you for your service. Thank you. But tell us a little bit about who JL Farron is. Well, I served in the military for about five and a half years, uh, United States Army. Been deployed overseas in Kuwait and a little bit in Iraq. Also, I was in Germany for about three years. and. I took a lot away from the military as far as leadership and just understanding how to give instructions and really take instructions. And at the end of the day, my military career is what really set the tone for myself in business. Right. You actually work with some pretty top level brass in the <laughs> Army, didn't you? I did. I did. I actually got my first crack at leadership from a, my battle captain. Her name is Heather Lebrecht. She put me in a position. Throw a shout leadership. out to Heather. Yep. Heather Lebrecht. You know, that's my battle captain forever. You know, she's like a, a lieutenant colonel now. She put me in a position where I had to speak to generals and speak to majors and lieutenant colonels on a very high level, and I was a very low-ranking sergeant. I was a buck sergeant, that's right. what they call it. And uh, you know, I had the opportunity to speak to you know them and brief them about 
transportation convoys and things of that nature. And it was a very big shoes to step into. And um, I didn't feel like I was ready for it, but she saw something in me and she gave me that opportunity and I had to step up to the plate. I think what she saw was the hand of God on your life, J.O. I've known you for 15 years and when we cranked up God Made Millionaire, we needed a CEO, uh, Vicki and I, my wife, and we prayed about it and we were like, J.L is our CEO. You need somebody. You can't build an empire by yourself. You need help along the way. And so we selected JL as the CEO of God Made Millionaire. So congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity as well. Right. It's 15 years of relationship that's being built between you and I. 15 years of us running together over this time period. Tell the people at home a little bit about the vision that you have as the CEO of God Made Millionaire, of everything that's going on, and really the show. How important do you think the work that we're doing here is, really, in the time that we're living in? Oh, it's, it's incredibly important. I mean, and as you said, it's been 15 years that we've had this relationship, TC. When God gives someone a vision, you can't take that lightly. Vision is something I don't take lightly. I actually, I'm gonna tell you a quick story before I get into the vision of the show. Um, when I was nine years old, I was with a friend of mine and he wore glasses and everybody used to tease him about wearing glasses. He was like the only one in the neighborhood. And one day we were in his house and he put the glasses on the table. He says, hey, I'll be right back. My mom just called me, don't touch my glasses. <laughs> That's exactly what he told me. And of course, yeah. you know, me sitting there at nine years old, I'm looking at these glasses, yeah. I'm looking around. <laughs> like, Let me try them out. So this is the first time that I'm trying out glasses, right? And I right. put these glasses on my face and Blur. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm like, oh man, this is crazy. I snatch him off my face. He comes into the room. He's like, man, I told you not to touch my glasses. I said, man, you're blind. You can't see. <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with you? What's wrong with your eyes? And he told me, he said, they're not your prescription. They're not your prescription. Right. And really, that's what I, as I got older and I started to wear my glasses myself and just understand vision. Right. Just understand vision. That's when I began to realize that God, when he gives someone a vision, you don't just share it with anybody. Because when you share it with certain people, they may not be able to see your vision. And the reason they can't see your vision is because it wasn't prescribed to them. Right. And they'll say, oh, I can't see you doing that. I can't see you having a TV show on God Made Millionaire. Right. I can't see you being a CEO of a company. Right. I can't see you doing this and doing that. And at the end of the day, it's not for them to see. Right. So you got to find people. God that, didn't give know, them the vision. That's right. He gave you the vision. Right. He gave you the vision. And you got to be very careful and selective with what you share your vision with. And so when I was in the military, that's one thing I took away is that as a leader, you have to protect that vision. Right. So talk a, a little bit about the vision for God Made Millionaire. And, absolutely, absolutely. And our website that we've got and the show. Talk, talk a little bit about that. We got a fantastic website. Uh, you know, the show is just phenomenal. You saw one of our uh, one of our guests, Deontay Section. He was on the show. Right. Just did a phenomenal job. Absolutely crushed it. But more importantly, he was able to share his God given dream with the world about how to break the cycle of generational poverty. That's such a strong message. Right. Such a strong message. And if we can provide a platform for entrepreneurs and individuals like that to be able to share their God-given dream with the world, we can change right. the world. We can make an impact. Jail, God has given you a vision and he's given you a message <laughs> for this moment, this hour, 93 million homes. This is being broadcast to 200 nations. What I want you to do, my brother, is look into that camera and I want you to deliver from your heart that word that God has planted in your heart for the nations. Absolutely. Uh, ladies and gentlemen who are watching this show, vision is very important to me. That word alone is incredibly important to me. And the word vision has two eyes in it. And those two eyes belong to you. And he's allowed you to see something because he saw something in you. There's seven billion people in this world and he chose you for a specific vision. And it's highly important that you take hold of that and move forward and carry out your mission. So he's going to begin and you, you'll know you have a God given dream because he's going to put certain people in your life. and He's going to gravitate those people towards you and those people are going to support you, whether they help you, whether they encourage you. TC, I got so many friends that encouraged me to be able to move forward and do what I do. I had a, a, a message from my, uh, a fellow friend of mine, been friends with him for 20 years. And he, he told me, good luck. You know, I, you know, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I appreciate being part of your life. I know you're going to do excellent on your TV show. I got another message from a friend saying, you know, some words of encouragement out of Texas and Chicago, including yourself and Vicky that have always been there for me, always have my back, 
always position me for opportunity. And when you have people like that, you have to recognize them. You have to make sure you acknowledge them. Right. You may not have known this, but I made an executive decision. <laughs> you right? did. And I want to bring uh, Vicki Bradley on the stage. If she can come on the stage with me, please. You made an executive decision, did you? I had an executive you? decision. Yeah, that's right. That's, this is what you got to look forward to when you make me your CEO. <laughs> <laughs> so Vicki uh, and TC, I just want to honor you. You've been in my life since I was 21 years old. You've always taken a stronghold over my life as far as encouraging me, always having my back, always just being there for me and, and my family. And, and I appreciate that. So what I want to do, I got this gift for you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, JL. Thank yep, you so welcome. much. You're welcome. And TC, I actually got a gift for you as well. The fact that I'm on your show is a gift in itself, is it not? Yes. Is that a gift? Right. <laughs> right. But uh, you're gonna yeah. get, your gift is actually behind the vault. It I is. Go behind the vault and you're gonna get a special gift for you. Okay. It's waiting right for you. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Thank you, JL. You're welcome. You're Vicky. very Appreciate special you. to us. <laughs> your family to us. Your Thank family. You. We're Appreciate always. You. We always got your back, brother. Absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, Mr. CEO. <laughs> Don't you want to come behind this vault door one day? <laughs> oh, wow. There you go, brother. Appreciate it. Okay. That was Thank awesome. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you I appreciate so much. y'all being right. in my life. Thank, Thank you. you. Listen, Thank you for being in our life. <laughs> Listen, everybody. If you see TC Bradley, you see Vicki Bradley at any workshop, any event, any TV studio, you're going to see this man yes, by sir. my side, J.L. Farron. Yes, JL, sir. You brought the thunder, son. I'm yes. proud of you. Appreciate you. Thank All right. You. Hey, it is my honor and privilege to bring to you to the studio tonight a very good friend of mine. This woman is a powerhouse with her business that God has called and appointed her to do, Miss Elsa Palmer Odin. Elsa is a powerhouse leader. I have been so excited to have her come on my studio set and share her inspirational story with you. So without any further ado, let's go into the studio with my good friend, Elsa Palmer Odin. Elsa Palmer Odin, great to have you on the show. Thank you so much, TC. Elsa, I have been so excited to get you on this <laughs> show. You are making such a difference in the world with what you are doing with your business and i couldn't wait to get you here so thank you for coming on thank you so much tc it's an honor to be here you're going to want to pay attention to what elsa has to share pay close attention elsa tell us your core business please i contract people all around the united states to work from home and that typically have disabilities or can't work outside the home and be able to help small businesses grow at the same time. So I'm helping businesses in America and I'm helping people work. So you have a business that you have built and I might add a very successful business. Yes. And what you're doing is you're taking people that have disabilities that are not able to be in the normal workplace and you're putting them to work, helping out companies here in the United States. Is that right? Correct. With doing things that they normally wouldn't like to do or like to have sub subcontracted out. Exactly. Did, did or to take down the mundane tasks of everyday business so that they can focus on the more important things to grow their business. So there's two areas that people should have an interest in. If you're a business owner and you're looking to offload some of those tasks at hand, Elsa has, what is it, a VA? Is that what Train virtual assistants or VAs. Okay. So you've got that segment, and then you've got people at home going, hey, hey, you know, I, mm -hmm. I would love to be put to work. You know, is that about Absolutely. right? Absolutely. All right, so tell us a typical client that you would take on. Most of our clients are real estate investors that deal with buying and selling homes in their local area. And our virtual assistants will therefore call the for sale by owners and take the buyer calls and they can send the contracts or the paperwork to the attorney for the attorney to draw up the paperwork. They can do all the marketing on the property. We basically do everything but negotiate the deal. Wow. Wow. So we take all that stuff off the investors back. Elsa, what was your inspiration to starting your company? There was a few different things, one of which was I wanted to be home with my kids. And I started being a virtual assistant for another company. And I got to learn what it was like in the background behind it. 
And then God put me in the right place at the right time and basically made an announcement that there, I had an army of virtual assistants and I had to create it. Wow, wow. So let's personalize this term virtual assistant because you, what do you mean by virtual assistant? Let's talk about that. Basically an office assistant, not in the office. Right. Okay, so basically your typical everyday administrative assistant that doesn't have to be in the office now that everything's technology based. Right. So talk about they're all US based. Is that absolutely right? give me a profile of some of your virtual assistants? I have some virtual assistants that are caregivers for somebody in their family who has disabilities. So there's a lot of doctor's appointments they have to go to. So this makes it a lot easier to make income. I have people on disability. I have people that homeschool their children. Wow. And I have some that this is what they do trying to get their way through college. So it's a job while they're paying their way to get their education. Who would be an ideal client from a business side? You mentioned real estate and mm -hmm. you're very well known in the real estate space, but is that the only space that you provide virtual assistance Absolutely to? Absolutely not. Because a virtual assistant can pretty much do anything that doesn't require them to physically be there, we can pretty much work with any business. And we've worked with a lot of different businesses. Like? We worked for a cosmetic company at one point, just doing orders for them, taking orders and sending the orders in for them. We've worked for real estate agents. I've worked for some celebrities doing their social media stuff. So you manage social media campaigns? Absolutely. Wow. Social media, websites, regular online marketing, you name it. What separates you from other companies that offer virtual assistance? Well, one of the main things that separates us is we are in the United States. A majority of them are Philippine VAs or just overseas somewhere. The, okay. other, the other providers provide? Correct offshore yours are onshore correct and overseas States. VAs there's no problem with right when you're in the United States with your business and you're doing phone work it's best to keep it within the United States for the phone calls right but another thing that sets us apart is our pricing most virtual assistant companies actually charge more if you want a trained virtual assistant we charge basically untrained virtual assistant pricing so wow. we try to keep things at a lower cost to help these small businesses grow. Wow, wow, what a difference. Now, I wanna congratulate you. I should have said this at the top of our interview, but you're also a best-selling author. Absolutely. So congratulations Thank on you, that. Thank you, TC. Tell us a little bit about your book. I basically put the whole story of what a virtual assistant is, the different types of virtual assistants and why you would wanna use them, and a few little precautions on virtual assistants to watch out for as well. Right, so let's wrap up the interview with this question. Who would be your ideal virtual assistant? We have got people all across the country watching this program. Ideally, who would make a good virtual assistant? Someone who is self-disciplined, who could definitely keep themselves focused and on task with the jobs. Right. And someone who's dedicated to work. I mean, this is not a hobby. You know, it's not just something to take up time. So as long as they're serious about actually working and they don't have a problem with being on the phone because there's a lot of phone work. Right. It's not sales calls, so they don't have to be cold calling sales type of things. Right. But they do have to be comfortable on the phone and be more of a people person. Right. Love but it. That's about it. Love it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Elsa Palmer Odin, Odin, thank you so much for coming by. I love having you on here. I love what God has given you to do this divine assignment where not only are you helping business owners across our country, but you're helping people that really, you're giving them an option that didn't exist before. If they have exactly. a disability, they can work, they can earn a good living doing this. And what a blessing you are, what a blessing your company is, by the way. Thank you. So thank you for coming on the show. Thank you, TC. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to our show this week. And do I ever have a word burning within me for somebody watching the show as we wrap things up on this week's show. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the secret components of wealth generation and walking in your destiny is the principle of wealth is attracted, 
to speed. Wealth is attracted to speed. Wealth is attracted to prosperity. Success is attracted to speed. The quicker that you can get the revelation, the divine providence moving in your life and take the action with what you've been inspired to do, the more wealth that you're going to be able to create in your life. What most people would do, and we've all had those moments in our life where we're sitting there minding our own business and divine providence moves and you get divine revelation and you know that you know that you've been given a million dollar idea. You just know it in your heart. You know it in your spirit that God has downloaded this dream within you. Now, my point to you in teaching you this is the quicker you can execute on that dream, the quicker that you can execute on that inspiration, the more money you're going to generate. You wanna know why that is? You wanna know why that is? It's very simple. What'll happen is the longer that you wait to execute on what you've been given, the more time you have for that little fat man up on your shoulder to whisper in your ears and talk you out of it. The longer that you take to execute on that dream, the more opportunity you have to talk yourself out of it. You don't go to GodMadeMillionaire.com. You don't raise your hand up in the air and say, I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it quickly. So what you do is, what happens is a little fat man comes up on your shoulder. Who do you think you are? Talking about your past, talking about your limitations, talking about all your failures that you failed at before now. Who am I to go on T.C. Bradley's God Made Millionaire TV show? Who are you? You're called by God. If you've been given a dream in your heart, in your spirit, this is the platform to share it with the nations. Wealth is attracted to speed. It always has been. Take the action, baby. Plant your flag. Stake your claim. Be bold. Be courageous. Be decisive and walk in your dream. I'm getting fired up now. I feel my strength coming, but we got to get out of here. Somebody hit my music. <laughs>